Hi, I'm Mark Powell, and I'm with the Dallas Fort Worth Herbological Society. We got to find something really cool today. Uh, one of the workers found a ribbon snake hair, actually a pair of them. Let me show you what we got. She ended up finding these two guys, and they were actually intertwined, so it looked like they may have been breeding. So a quick check confirmed this is a little male, and this is a female. And that's kind of typical with ribbon snakes and some of the garters. The males are usually a lot smaller than the females. So these guys are actually trying to breed, and it's kind of neat because this is considered an orange stripe ribbon snake, which is generally found, if you look at the field guides, west, I mean, east of here. And, but I found quite a few of these in this area too. This is what's supposed to be here by the field guides, and it is a red stripe ribbon snake. So when these guys actually are able to breed, you know, of course, you take a look here real quick. You can see that the, the red on the red stripe is very red, and the orange on the orange stripe is pretty orange. So when these guys will actually breed, they will produce something that looks like this. So the red is on the right side. The red striped is over here. And we got the regular orange striped here and see how the middle striping is a little bit darker than that guy. This snake is common to this area. A lot of people see these snakes and they're pretty identifiable by the long stripe and a couple different colors. You'll see them zipping by, normally near water sources, these love to eat small amphibians, like small little cricket frogs and other little small frogs and fish. So they're found around the water because that's usually where their prey is found. Sometimes they'll bite, so if you grab one, it might actually bite you, but it's not gonna be venomous and it's not going to be any real serious damage caused. Thanks for joining us for Reptile Month. Keep a lookout for more posts on social media.